welcome to week four of our series, Go. Today's big idea is, I can help others when I pray. Our Bible verse can be found in Acts chapter 12, verses 1 through 17. Welcome back once again to week four. We can't believe it's been a whole month that we've gotten to learn about what God means when he says, uh, asks us to go and share Jesus's love with other people. And right now we're gonna ask you to find a ball in your house and gently throw it to other people in your family, taking turns, catching the ball and yelling out a name of someone you're thanking God for today. So for example, if I catch the ball, I could say Carrie and thank God for Carrie. Let's play catch and thank God for the people around us. Now it's time for a video lesson. Hey everyone, I have a question. Ready? Okay, here goes. How did you get here today? Do you know the answer? Did you walk? Did you ride in a car? Jump on a bus? Get on a boat? A plane? A horse? I don't know about you, but whenever I'm going on a journey, I like to say a prayer and ask God to keep me safe. But that's not the only time I pray. We can pray anywhere, anytime, and about anything. Praying is really easy. When we pray, we talk to God. We can tell God how our day is going. We can say thank you for the good things that we have. And we can ask God for help when we need it. All throughout the Bible, we're told that we can pray anytime and anywhere. God loves hearing what we have to say. And not only can we pray about things for ourselves, but God says we can go and pray for others as well. Like if your friend is sick, you can pray for them. Or if someone loses a pet, you can pray for them too. If someone you know needs something like food or a place to live, you can even pray for them. The Bible tells us that our prayers are powerful. Jesus said that when we pray, God hears us and listens to what we ask. When Jesus was here on earth, he told his friends, the disciples, to pray for others, and he's telling us to do the same. Jesus wants to help the people you pray for. So next time you see someone who is sad or hurt, remember, I can help others when I pray. So let's go. In the video you just watched, the story that came from the book of Acts, chapter 12, verses 1 through 17, Peter was telling people about Jesus, which was a good thing to do, but some people did not like that, and they put Peter in jail. Peter's friends didn't know how to help, so they got together and prayed, and God heard their prayers and sent an angel to set Peter free. Everyone was so happy that God answered their prayers. When we pray, we talk to God. The Bible tells us to pray, asking Jesus to help us and help other people. You can ask Jesus to help someone when they're sick. You can ask Jesus to help someone when they're feeling sad. You can ask Jesus to help someone get the food that they need. We're just going to do a really fun, quick activity and learn all the different ways that we can pray. They're all unique and can be made up by you. So the first one I have is that we can raise our arms up to the sky and you can pray to God like this. Now, another way that we can pray is by holding our hands out in front of us and we can pray to God just like this. One last way that we can pray to God is by folding our hands and bowing our heads. And we can pray like this. We can pray for our moms, or our dads, someone who is sick, for our grandparents, for anyone in our family or that we know in our communities. There are so many different ways that you can pray. There's no right or wrong way. And when we pray, God will help the people that we pray for.
Now it's time to enjoy singing a song that reminds us what happens when we trust God. Join us and even do the hand motions, if you will, and sing along. Hello and welcome. Today, if you've been to VBS, you'll recognize this song. If you haven't, I think you're still going to enjoy it. It's called Trust in the Lord. And Tammy and Carrie are going to help us learn how to do the hand motions. So if you have a partner, grab a partner, and you're going to copy them. It goes like this. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean out on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean out on your own understanding in all your ways. Wait. Acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. I think they can you think they can do it faster? All right, ready? you guys ready? Get those partners ready, get those hands ready. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean out on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean out on your own understanding in all your ways. Knowledge Him, and He will make your path straight in all your ways. Knowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. That was pretty good, but I think they can go okay. faster. Can you go faster. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean out on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean out on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. He will make you pass straight. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. He will make you pass straight. Let's go super duper fast. Super duper fast? Yes. I think you can handle it. I think we can. Ready? Okay, shake it out. Shake. Oh yeah, good. Ready? Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean out on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean out on your own understanding. And all your ways, acknowledge Him, He will make you pass straight. And all your ways, acknowledge Him, He will make you pass straight. One more time, a little bit faster. Okay. I think we can do it. All right, we'll give it a shot. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, lean on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, knowledge Him, He will make you pass straight. In all your ways, knowledge Him, He will make you pass straight. Nice! Will you join me in prayer? Dear Jesus, we want to pray for each other. We want to learn how to help others when we pray. In your name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining us.